What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a little bit of a look at news of a new set, which is rather lovely. And news of a new starter deck, which is rather lovely now, as tends to be the case here. We don't have perfect information. We are cobbling together what we can. No. No, it's not idea. Sorry. So starting off then, we've got news of EX2. This is the second of the special sets. It is due to be released in December. It is going to be a themed booster based on Digital Evil. All of them are in the middle of the day. This is translated by um, Ensan Gaming. And yeah, there's going to be 74 total cards, 26 common, 20 uncommon, 18 rare, eight super rare, and two secret rare. Now, the image on screen was chaired by Enzan Gaming. It is not the booster pack of EX2, but it's an appropriate picture and it seemed kind of cool, so I figured I'd go with them. But shout out to Enzan Gaming. This is not an official picture. I mean, for starters, it literally says in the bottom left, Bandai 2001 made in Japan. It's a 20-year-old booster pack. Looks nothing like our regular set does not actually have a, um, well, it doesn't actually have the logo or anything like that. It's just an image to pop on the screen. And this doesn't tell us a huge amount. But if we combine this with what we already know from EX1, then yeah, this actually does tell us a decent amount. You see, EX1 has already been revealed over in Japan. We're getting it in the not-too-distant future. And that means that we can look at that and we can see that this is actually an extremely similar kind of set. Now, one thing I find interesting, EX1 only actually had one secret rare. That was your Machine Dramon. So the fact that we're getting a second secret rare is honestly kind of cool. One thing that is super interesting is that there were a lot of alternate art cards that came around initially in EX1, and we've not really been told what we've got in terms of alternate arts here, and that is going to be the difference. Now, as a side note, the release date is set for the 24th of December, which is weird because it's Christmas Eve, but we've made this point before. Over in the UK... Christmas Eve is kind of like properly protected. You do not release stuff close to Christmas. You just don't. No. In the US, Thanksgiving is the real protected holiday where everything closes. And the US does movie releases, you know, right on Christmas and all of that. And it kind of shuts down, but not like Thanksgiving and not like in the UK. In Japan... Having releases that close to Christmas isn't terribly unusual. It would be entirely unheard of in the UK. It would be a bit weird in the US. It's not that weird over in Japan. 24th of December. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. It's a um, little bit strange. But it's not the end of the world. So that's when it's coming out. It's coming out on the 24th of December. And you'll notice that 74 cards is less than we would generally expect. So if we compare it to BT6, BT6 was pretty standard. You had 113 types of cards, 44 common, 30 uncommon, 26 rare, 11 super rares, and two secret rares. So actually it was kind of normal, but there's actually one more super rare. We would generally expect 112 cards with 10 super rares, or two secret rares. But I don't know, we're heading into BT6 over here. That's a set that's on my mind. So, the fact that we are actually getting 74 rather than 112 is weird. Interesting to note that we generally get 112 cards with 10 super rares and two secret rares. And this is 74 cards with eight super rares and two secret rares, which means that a lot of the fewer cards available are actually falling into the common and uncommon category. And rares, there are eight fewer rares, so there's a bunch less of them. We don't actually know, unfortunately, what the deal is in terms of um, pull rates over here. That is something we're going to have to wait and see for the time being. Of course, if we compare it to EX01, it's exactly the same, but with one more secret rare. So EX01 
Wall 73 cards rather than 74. 26 common, 20 uncommon, 18 rare, 8 super rare, 1 secret rare. So in terms of ratios, it is exactly the same as we saw on EX1, just with one extra secret rare. So yeah, this is kind of cool and kind of interesting. We don't have perfect information, but that tells us a lot of what we need to know, at least in, until the cards start leaking out. Now, it is interesting to note that for us, we're going to be getting the Classic Collection on the 3rd of December. So, just before Japan actually gets EX2. So, we're a little bit behind. I mean, they got EX1 in July, but the very end of July. So, if we call that basically the beginning of August, and we get ours at the beginning of December, that's basically four months. Japan got BT6 at the end of May. And we were supposed to be getting it around about October time, although there has been a delay. Which, again, if we read the very end of May as the beginning of June, and then we end up getting it in October, that's kind of like a four-month gap. So we're on somewhere in the region of a four-month gap. So you should expect to be getting EX2 sometime around about April-ish. That seems fairly sensible. As it stands at the moment, we've got BT7 which is currently being listed for the 27th of January. That is the farthest out release date we've had so far. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, Japan is getting BT-8 on November the 26th. So between BT-7 in January for us and probably EX-2 in April, we should expect to be getting BT-8 around about March time, a month before EX-2, just like Japan did. These are unconfirmed, but again, I think if we follow through what's happened in the past, if we go through the logic, this makes a little bit of sense. I am extremely excited for this. I wish we had more information. I am sorry. Now, the other piece of news which has gone and been revealed over the past couple of days, and shout out to the lovely folks at DTCG Review for sharing this one with us, is that there are actually, well, I was going to say new starter decks coming, but that's not necessarily true. There is new starter deck coming. Now, this originally came from DigiHiCDCG over on Facebook. Seems legit. As always, until we actually get official confirmation, take it as a, a credible rumor, I think is a polite way to put it. Now, this is coming out on the 26th of November, and it's going to have a 54-card deck, which makes sense. It's a 50-card deck with four digit armor. That's what we've always had. Two memory gauges. Well, a two-part memory gauge. Again, we've always had that. Four promo cards. Now, remember, we've been having these lately. Think about the memory boost delay cards, call them what you will, that came in the Gallantmon and Force Vigimon decks. So that's rather cool. And one deck box, which is new. We've not actually had a deck box released for starter decks yet. So that is awesome. No images of anything. We have an image, but it is unfortunately <laughs> a placeholder image that shows us absolutely nothing. I mean, it shows us a deck of cards, four promo cards, generic memory gauges, and a deck box. Although, if we're going to have a little bit of a pet peeve there, I really would appreciate it if the four Digi Egg cards were in a separate little pile off to the side, as they would be in a game. I think I might be getting a little over the top there. Now, of course, we're talking at the moment over the past couple of days. We have been looking at the first reveals coming around from Starter X 9 and 10. These are the ones featuring the dual color Digimon. One with Mastermon, one with Imperial Digimon Dragon Mode. It is time for a black starter deck. And you should expect this to be a black starter deck. Essentially, the first six had one of each color. Then we had the Gallant Morn and Old Force Vigimon decks, red and blue. And then we basically got Imperial Digimon and Mastermon that are green and yellow. And yes, I know they're dual color, but still. So if we follow it through, the next starter deck we would expect to have would be a black focus starter deck. We don't know is the honest answer. That is pure speculation on my part. But... Come on. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? 
It kind of makes sense. As always, when new information does get revealed and released and all of that, when we know a little bit more, I will share it with you because I'm nice like that. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to know what you think about EX2 and about this new starter deck. So, you know, let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays.